Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Kickback. Now, I have been really looking forward to getting this figure here because I love the Insecticons and Kickback was one of my favorites. So taking a quick look at the packaging, you've got Kickback right there behind that windowless packaging once again. Transformers, Transformers Legacy, some art of Kickback in his grasshopper mode. This side of the box, you got a close-up of Kickback here and a full body shot on the bottom. Back of the packaging, we've got Kickback in grasshopper mode and robot mode, transforming in 14 steps. This side of the box, the Decepticon artwork with Megatron, Dragstrip, Iguanas, and Cyclonus. So now, without further ado, let's hop to it and get this figure out of the packaging and show him off. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, one of the things I keep forgetting to show you guys is the QR code here on the back. Scan that with your phone and you can pull up the file card for Kickback. And once you get Kickback all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and easy to follow. He comes with his gun, which I absolutely love. This is spot on to his Generation 1 toy gun and I love it. And look at the paint applications. Silver, purple, and black. And I love the fact it's got the drum right there. I thought at first that the drum could spin. It cannot, but it looks so good and is blast effect compatible. He also has these two Energon blade weapons, I guess. I mean, these have a lot of different uh, functions with the figure that I'll go over later on. And unlike drag strips blasters, you get a left and a right with these. And of course, we have Kickback himself. And I'm going to say this right out the gate. I love this toy. I have been messing around with him for a couple of days now, and he is so G1, it hurts. <laughs> I mean, usually I wait until the end of the video to show this off, but look at Kickback compared to the Generation 1 version. That is spot on. I love this. So anyway, let's take a closer look at Kickback. Fantastic head sculpt. That just looks awesome. Got the red visor, the silver face, the silver crest right there, the yellow antennas. Moving on down to the chest area that has that Kickback yellow. Of course, if you remember, the chest on the G1s could open up. I'll show that off real quick. So this carries over from the Diaclone line where the pilot could sit inside. Now, Kickbacks looks like it would open up. It's got the little pin right there. You'd think that's a hinge, but this translucent piece is actually tabbed into the chest. And I've tried a couple times to get that open. I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. So that may be just for looks, another generation one throwback. Now. Let's take a look at the wings. I was kind of surprised when I first saw the wings because all of the promo pictures I've seen online, I guess the way the lighting hit the wings, I thought they were chrome, but they are in fact clear 
plastic, but they have tons of details. All that insect look, I don't know what that's called, like on an insect wing, that is awesome. That, they're actually pretty thick too, so I'm not too worried about breaking these, but I love that. I think that really looks good. I would have much rather had chrome, but what are you gonna do? Moving on down the figure, lots of great molded details. You got some paint applications here on the legs with the yellow and the red. But man, this guy just looks awesome. So generation one, cleans up really good. Not a lot of empty space or hollowness on the back. You do get a little bit of hollowness there inside the thighs and that is about it. Now, as far as articulation is concerned, the wings can rotate back and forth. These antennas can move. I've seen that in other reviews. Mine don't, they are on there really, really tight. It's a bendy plastic, but I don't want to force it. So those can move if you happen to get a kickback where they're loose enough to move. The heads on a ball joint can kind of look around, up and down, do a complete 360. So that's really cool. Arms, love the arms. Out, in, complete 360 as well. There's an elbow bend, and I guess it's a shoulder rotation up there at the top no wrist rotation though there is waist rotation legs up back out in there is a knee bend there is a thigh rotation and one heck of an ankle tilt if i can get it to do it it kind of locks in place come on now always on camera what in the world i'll we'll try this one Wow, that is a tight joint. So yeah, there's the ankle tilt right there. My God, that's tight. That's one of the tightest <laughs> ankle joints I've ever dealt with with a Transformer figure. So yeah, there is the ankle tilt. Now let's take a look at the wit weapons that he has. Once again, we've got his blaster right here and I happen to have a blast effect handy. So you can plug that in, put that in Kickback's hand and there you go that looks really really cool now we'll bring in the bladed weapons here and these have a couple of different functions you can actually attach these here on the forearms so now he has some kind of blade you know he's a melee weapon a blade he can use or you can put them up here on the shoulder now these are not in the instructions these are just things i've come up with so now he has like null rays attached to his arms and these tips right here these are blast effect compatible as well so you got null rays there on his upper arms you can do the energon blades you can also take these off and there are little tabs right there see those the clear tabs line those up on the outside of the wings and there's little notches if you can get those lined up hard to see you can actually peg these energon blades onto his wings just like so so there you have kickback all armed and ready for battle and i love this i think that looks so cool other options for these energon blades is you can actually use them as swords plug it into his hand like so so he can have his weapon in one hand his blade in the other of course he can dual wield also these combine there's pegs right there put those together hard to see the translucent plastic so there you go you got some kind of giant mega soul caliber looking sword that he can wield into battle so yeah kickback is armed to the teeth now about the only issue that I have with Kickback's robot mode is the back of the arm right here. The insect leg is hanging off right below the elbow. I wish they put in another hinge right there to fold this section up. But other than that, I absolutely love this robot mode. It, just, it looks awesome. I am so thrilled with this. Now for even more G1 goodness, let's go ahead and get Kickback transformed into his grasshopper mode 
and I swear this is just like the G1 transformation. First off, turn the head all the way around, bring the arms down like so, go ahead and fold the wings back. It's easier just to put your finger there and bring them both back at the same time. You're going to split the arm just like G1 and then flip the fist around to bring out the other little robot or robot, I can't talk, little grasshopper feet. So do that for both arms, just like I said, just like G1. Right here underneath the head on the back, there's a little flap. If I can get my fingernail in, get that flap out, you bring this up, and that covers up Kickback's robot face. I think that's really cool too. Now go ahead and bring the legs up, fold the feet back, and then behind the legs, you're gonna bring out the grasshopper legs, bring these little feet down and turn them around, just like so. And there you have Kickback in grasshopper mode. It is just like the generation one toy. Now in grasshopper mode, there's nothing really new to look at. It's all the same details, but look how generation one toy accurate this is. I love it. I mean, getting this figure took me right back to 1985 because man, I am really impressed with Hasbro and how they pulled off this kickback. So now let's bring in generation one kickback for some comparisons. Let's see if I can get them all to fit on camera here. Just look at that. That looks so awesome. I love it. That, that just looks amazing. I My mind is blown with just how G1 that they made Legacy Kickback. I just can't rave about this enough. I am an old school G1-er and this just pleases me immensely. Real quick, I do want to compare Generation 1 Kickback's gun to Legacy Kickbacks. Yeah, that's cool. All right, now for the weapons as far as Legacy Kickback is concerned, you can take his blaster and there's a peg right there Peg this in and the drum of the blaster is going to fit in that square open section on the chest. So that pegs in like so, so he has a stomach gun. Now with the wings, the same thing is in robot mode. You can attach the wings, or excuse me, the blades on the wings like so, if I can get that to do it right. So you can attach the blades on the wings or some other things I discovered. You can attach them on the back of the legs via those little holes in the back of his feet. Kind of gives him a new look here or on the side of the legs as well. So you can kind of give him a wider grasshopper thorax, if you will. There's just, there's all kinds of options with those translucent blades. And there you go guys, kick back in grasshopper mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Kickback with Generation 1 Megatron, Generation 1 Kickback, and Titans Return Kickback. Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Kickback is a pure 80s nostalgia bomb. As soon as I opened this figure out of the packaging, I was immediately teleported back to 1985 and I felt like I was a kid again. The G1 throwbacks on this modern figure is absolutely amazing. I just cannot rave enough about what Hasbro did with this kickback figure. I mean, the only real complaints I have with the figure is these little bits that hang off the elbows, and I really wish that chest compartment opened up. Other than that, I think this is a perfect kickback figure and man, I cannot wait for the rest of the Insecticons. So there you go, guys. Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Kickback. So, does a Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Kickback belong in your collection? I think you already know the answer. Absolutely. I love this toy. This is just an amazing figure. And as I said, the G1er in me could not be happier with this guy. I love him and I cannot wait to see what they can do for the other Insecticons. And I think it would be awesome 
if not only do they do bombshell and shrapnel, but we see the deluxe Insecticons as well. Those guys really need some love and a new modern take. So yeah, you see kickback on the shelf. Do not hesitate. Pick this figure up, especially if you're an old G1er like me. You are going to love this guy. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out.